I'm Johnny from Expert Boxing. Right now I'm going to talk to you guys about how to control the movement in the ring. Some people ask me like how to control the center of the ring. So uh, this is kind of funny but I do my best. I try. So first off, you know, every fight has a little bit of a different kind of balance because maybe this opponent, my right hand is stronger than his left hand. So he'll tend to run away from my right hand. Or maybe this opponent, the way he fights is so easy for me to jab. So it ends up being that I'm always chasing him on this side and he runs the other side. Or vice versa. Uh, maybe against this opponent, he has a big right hand, so I'm always circling this way. Maybe this opponent, he has a big jab or a big left hook. Or just the way he stands, I, I'm always going this way. So you got to feel like the balance of the ring, right? Uh, the, balance of, uh, the balance of the fight, the matchup to know which way you're most likely to run. So for example, if I want to stay in the center of the ring, I try to control like which way I know that, that he's going to run. If I feel that he's going to run to the right, and he's always going to run to the right, and I don't want that, I want him to stay here, I might, I might kind of like start preparing my body to the right. That way, you know, he kind of tries to go over there. Likewise, if I feel like he likes to go this way a lot, I start squaring up and I prepare my body this way to try to get him to not run this way. Right, so little things like that. I just try to inch. I change my body language just to just to already give him a different look that, that makes him that makes him uh, less likely to, to, to go the way that I don't want him to go. Um, another way to control the center ring, honestly, <laughs> be just be super tall, strong, super strong, super heavy power, lots of fast power for punches and great defense. That would be a great way to just hold the ring and, and not let him get control of it. Right. A lot of times. You know, standing at center ring is not hard. Just put your feet right there and don't move, right? But the reason why we move is because our opponents are forcing us off. They're landing good shots. So, you know, good boxing ability will allow you to hold center ring. Sometimes it's also your vibe as well, right? If you have a vibe that you're not going to go anywhere, that you're going to counter hard, okay, they might give it to you. It's the guy who's like, eh, you know what, I don't want to test him there. I'm just going to move around on the box and see what happens. But if you have this kind of like jumpy vibe, if you have a jumpy vibe, if you jump around, they're gonna chase you. They're gonna like, they're gonna jump with you, right? Because that, that's the kind of energy that, that you're giving. So try to cl slow it down, give, give it a calm, slow energy, and then you can, you can settle into the center ring some more. Uh, also, too, uh, to fight at the, the center ring, you, you know, sometimes you have, to, you, know, you have to be able to box the center ring. Other times you have to be able to come in on the inside and brawl at center ring. So if that's what you really want to hold, you, you gotta have the skills to, to allow you to fight in every scenario. That's how I would think about it. I'm Johnny from Expert Boxing. If you like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, check out my website, expertboxing.com. Thanks for watching.